welcome to Esteli, Nicaragua, in the beautiful farm of Oliva cigars. With us we have Gilberto, Gilberto! Come over, come over, this is Gilberto Oliva. ¿Qué tal, amigo? ¿Cómo está? Welcome to Esteli. Gracias. Que se vaya, no puede entrar. Aquí, tell us more about the tobacco. Okay, this tobacco has been in the field for 55 days. We have gotten a beautiful crop this year. The quality is incredible. We're very happy with it. Um, this is Criollo 98, and we're going to take this to the barn. After we cut it here, we take it to the barn over there. Beautiful. Maybe let's go there together. You join us? So, Gilberto, we come from the field? That is correct. And now we're in the barn? What's happening here? Okay, we cut the tobacco in the field, we bring it in the barn, we sow it, as you can see over here. Okay. And after that, we leave it hanging for 45 days, and after 45 days, we take it down. And then it gets... This is the final finished product. Beautiful. And after fermentation, this goes to the factory? That's correct. Hey, guys. Hi, Jose. How are you? Very Hi. good. Let's go to the factory. Perfect. Looking forward. Here we're showing the process of how we make the Siri V Churchill, one of, our one of our most sought after cigars. Cigars are made today as they've been made for over a century, by hand. As you can see here, we have a bonchero, because cigar manufacturing works in pairs. And so the bonchero takes a series of leaves, he puts them together in his hand, and starts to achieve the blend. The blend was decided by the master blender. And in order to achieve that blend, we use different leaves from different regions and of different strengths. What the Bonchero does is that he takes these different leaves as predetermined, puts them all together in a base. That base is in his hand. And then he takes that entire bunch and he wraps it all around a binder. That binder works as an interior wrapper holding everything together. Once he is done with that process, he puts that bunch into a mold. As you can see here, there are a couple already in that mold. They don't look much like what a cigar will ultimately look like, but after a couple of hours of being pressed into that mold, they look drastically different. After that process is done, then we move to the cigar wrapping stage of it. The cigar wrapper is a specialized roller that only wraps cigars. This is crucially important because this is ultimately what the cigar will look like and the treatment of the wrapper has to be far more delicate than that of the fillers. As you can see, here they prepare the wrapper, they make sure that it is nice and smooth and that it is going in the right direction. From there, they take the cigars that have been in those molds for two hours and she begins to put the wrapper on that cigar. As you can see, it starts to look much more like the cigar that you're used to seeing. Once that process is done, these cigars go onto the table. There are supervisors around the factory that come around and touch and feel every cigar. A cigar has to be uniform and it can't have any empty spots and it must be very smooth in character. Once that process is done, then it moves on to an even more intricate selection process. All cigars are weighed in bundles to ensure that they all have the right amount of tobacco in them. They're also once again gone over by hand each individual cigar to make sure that they are of the quality that we demand. And as such, there are 200 people around you. Look around you, 200 people making these beautiful cigars day by day. Please enjoy it. There's only one way to taste a cigar, and that's by relaxing and taking your time. We hope you enjoyed your Nicaragua experience. After all the labor and passion we put into our cigars, now is the time for you to really enjoy them. We sincerely welcome you to our wonderful world of cigars. Now that they're gone, please enjoy this wonderful cigar.